beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while this need. now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Is because we believe that's why we are here Jesus hear the cry of your people you see their pains and you see their hurts who oh, but you oh God is able to wipe their tears and give them testimonies as the glory of your presence moves all over this place Spare not your hand, O oh God, stretch it. Touch your people. Hallelujah. Jesus, we enthrone you. Participate in the worship is doing something to your spirit. Standing here in the midst of all, we raise you high with our praise. Saints of God, let's worship the mighty one. And as we As we worship, hey, as we worship, would you build a throne, build a throne in our lives? Build a throne, and as we worship, build a throne, come, Lord Jesus. tell you a lot happens in the place of worship you are not just singing worship engages the law of exchange it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife there is a transference of virtue right from the man to his wife give her time there will be evidence of that transference we call it pregnancy then she will give birth to a child that symbolizes her union 
with her husband. This meeting is called Koinonia. There are many dimensions you enter into, not just by preaching. The atmosphere of his glory brings you into it. All of a sudden you walk and find out that certain things become possible. Resolutions are happening in your spirit as you are worshipping. It's not just about songs. It's not just about songs. Surrender is happening as you worship. Conviction happening. Healings. Miracles. Impartations. So don't you think we are wasting our time? If this is all we do today, it will never be the same. Mike said something when he came up. He said if Buhari comes to greet you, right? If, if Obama comes to greet you, their presence has an implication on your destiny. Let me tell you, God does not just come. He's invoked. It's the same way you invoke the spirit of a man. And it is worship that invokes him. He chooses the dimension he wants to reveal to the people. And then he causes them to sing him in that dimension to come. Hallelujah. So please, I, I don't want you to be careless with this worship. It's a little moment of worship, but let me tell you, a lot can happen. I worship you, great I am. You are mighty in this place. I worship you, King of you are strong at breast and one. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. Praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. Praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. Praises to Sujada nena ke Godia nena ke Godia Sujada nena ke To the mighty God Godia nena ke Godia Kosa Sujada nena ke Sujada Sujada Godia nena ke Sujada nena ke, Godia nena ke, Sujada nena ke, Mai che dona, Godia nena ke, Sujada nena ke, Ya Yesu, Godia nena ke, Mai pasa. Hawaii, 
Become ashamed and embarrassed where we see it as a waste of time to acknowledge you. The Bible says, In all thy ways, acknowledge you. It says, And he shall direct your path. Hallelujah. Please sit down if you can. Listen, don't just come to Koinonia to receive revelations, come to learn wisdom especially those of us in ministry there is a force that backs your ministry when you can lead congregations to thank god in this listen please let's settle down in this time of ingratitude always complaining lord you would have done this thank you for the one you have done and we pass it very fast and then we begin to talk about the one he has not done it pays to be thankful and it pays to express gratitude lavishly. This is the secret, one of the biggest secrets in my life. It's one of the biggest secrets in this ministry. I can thank him and roll from end to end. When David danced before God, the daughter of Saul, who was his wife, said, No, you, are, you should know that your status has changed. And Saul, I mean, um, um, who was that? David looked at her and said, I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me. Hallelujah. When you see something happening in your life and it's not happening everywhere, thank God for it. Because that means it's not commercial. When you see results in your life, you see people's prayer point as your testimony. Thank God for it. Are we together? Yes. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Tonight I want to... Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be challenging us on our spiritual lives, our spiritual growth. We have taught on the principles of the kingdom, but I want to challenge us to make progress in our personal lives as far as the knowledge of God, not just his ways, his person. So I'll be challenging us along that thought. And um, I have a very strong burden and a desire in my heart tonight and I'm trusting that God will grant grace 
to be able to speak to us. Let our hearts be opened. Isaiah 40, please. We'll read from verse 1 to 5. And then I'll teach on a few things and we'll pray. I trust God that uh, I'll be very brief tonight. It's a series so we can build from it. Let's see how we can pray. Um, media, please get ready. Maybe at some point you may give us worship as we pray together. Isaiah 40. Are you there? Say amen. God is doing something in your life every week as we gather in his presence. He's changing us. His word does not change people by default. His word must be explained, must be understood, must be believed, received, and acted upon. Then there will be results. The word of God does not change you by default. Are we together? Verse 1 to 5. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. 2. Help us media, please. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. He says, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Verse 3. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. We're reading to verse 5. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain. Let's read verse 5 together. One, two, read. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. One more time. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to be challenging us today and the next few weeks. We're going to be discussing on um, several dimensions of the supernatural. Uh, it includes our understanding of the glory, our understanding of ourselves. You see, the way God designed the kingdom, the way God designed spiritual progress is such that you know yourself by studying Jesus Christ. Are we together? The only way you know yourself is by studying Jesus Christ. Are we together? In the kingdom, your relevance and your person is a derivative of all that Christ is. So he is our project of pursuit. Please listen. He is our project of study. The Bible says looking up to Jesus. The word looking up does not just mean looking, paying attention, pegging your focus on him. It's the same description that was given in Acts chapter 4 when he said look on us. Pay attention, we're about to do something that will change your life. So he says looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher. Let me start by saying something. There is a formula for growing spiritually. Please everyone pay attention. God is making you become something mighty. There is a formula for spiritual growth. You do not grow spiritually just by prayer, just by fasting, just by studying the Bible. There is a formula. Are we together? If you have cement, sand, and zinc do you have a house no you have the materials for a house but the construction requires that the foundation is below are we together and the zinc is above if you take the zinc and put it in the foundation zinc is required for building but does that make a house so many of us combine spiritual things we pray here we fast here we read our bibles here but what we are becoming is not Christ. It means that our combination to create the pattern that will make us like Christ is faulty. So there is prayer in our lives. I agree. Are we together? 
there is fasting in our lives i agree there is the study of the world there's studying books there is corporate fellowship but to what degree it's just like you're cooking rice you apply many ingredients but not at the same level and not in the same quantity are we together the quantity of rice you put is not the same quantity of salt are we together if you put all of them at that level as good as they are they will not produce that are we together so the first picture is to find out what god intends for you to become and that pattern man according to scripture is the christ not just jesus the christ there is a big difference between jesus and the christ jesus was made the christ god's anointed god's model for the believer are we together now now please listen and pay attention as i build on these things tonight because they are very important for our spiritual growth according to god's design for spiritual growth the journey of a believer hear me should always start with an encounter of the person christ not an encounter with prosperity not an encounter with healing not an encounter with breakthrough are we together now you must meet the person christ the encounter with the person christ is the only legitimate way to begin to navigate the kingdom properly if at any time you are found exploring spiritual growth outside of the encounter with the person christ your growth will be imbalanced and you may delve into witchcraft are we together jesus said it this way i am the way in other words it is when you meet me that you can be sure that the path you are taking is correct are we together now there are so many believers listen who want to grow spiritually but we think the secret to spiritual growth is just rema now i've taught on different things i've taught on principles of the kingdom are we together now but let me tell you the truth the foundation of spiritual growth is not principles it's encounter an encounter with a person not his laws a person you can know the laws of tithing you can know the laws of church growth you can know all the laws that we have taught and yet not know jesus as a person you can know him as a religious figure that you strolled on stage here to confess him but you must encounter the person jesus are we together now i think i was discussing we're discussing this morning with Ejimi how that and i say this with all humility i'm so touched seeing our people this the way god started out with us please listen this is a very strong foundation the path of spiritual progress that god started with us and that's the path i have led and taught people for years and all those who have followed this path have grown properly that is your spiritual journey listen when you come into christ your first assignment is to pursue god with a reckless abandonment not to pursue financial principles are we together not to pursue relationship and love and marriage husband and wife right girlfriend concubine, all these kinds of things not to pursue them now but the problem we have with the church now and this is very serious it's a serious issue is that you find believers who come to christ the moment they get born again they never care to find out this person called Christ who is God's idea, God's pattern man. Are we together? What we do is we go and gather tapes which are important and we start indoctrinating ourselves with Greek and Hebrew words and start building our spiritual conviction on the fact that we are privy to certain information and that we are able to quote scripture and then the moment we think we are anointed the next thing is we are thinking of starting ministry or we are thinking of relationship let me tell you something and i need you to hear this and learn because it's important you follow i was telling a jimmy years ago when you got born again in eni here for a long time 
you had no business with men or women. You didn't even know who was male or female. Are we together? When you got born again, there was fire everywhere. Fire, there was no room to even see human beings. All you saw was fire morning till night. Are we together? Our joke was the presence of God. Our fun was the presence of God. It was never about Rema. It was never even about anointing. It was never about ministry. It was about a hungry people. Desperate for a revelation and an encounter. Are we together? Yes. That was the foundation. So people's prayer life was not just to get prophecy and go and give people and build churches I would, some of you were part of these things are we together but right now there is a lot of catastrophe happening in our spiritual growth the average person gets born again and in four months he has a son he has a daughter are we together now moving around calling everybody my son my daughter i am pastor this I am prophet this. I am apostle this. They now look for one, one, one church somewhere and, and start yoking themselves to rent, to start organizing evening service, church service, double service, uh, um, morning and afternoon service, and all kinds of things. I am telling you this. If you follow that pathway, you will never find God. There is a formula to finding God. Are we together? That's why you find out that everyone by the grace of God that we raised, regardless of what they are doing, that there is a level of backsliding you can't get to because of how you were trained. No matter how backward you are, there is a level to which your conscience will not leave you. The level of godliness we enforced was at a high standard. Even those we call backsliders are qualified to be pastors in many churches. Are we together? Yeah. But right now, there are people who have no business looking for husband and wife. That's their object of pursuit. Take what I'm saying very seriously. There are some of us here, let me tell you, at your level of spiritual growth, you shouldn't be looking at any woman whatsoever under no circumstance. Same thing for ladies. Because you see, People got into relationships and married. It was God himself that had to turn the faces of people and say, look, you have tried, you have labored in my vineyard. I think it's time to get married. But right now, people come to church from day one as they are sharing the grace you are pursuing somebody you don't know anything about. How can we see now? We are a member of Koinonia. That spirit will rob you of passion because your motive is not genuine. Are we together? So, the object, they were people who never had revelation, but they had presence. You come close to them, you know they know God. They may not be able to explain everything yet. They don't understand the principle. We walked in many results way before we understood the dynamics. Our hunger took us to that level. It was later on God started saying, this is what you are doing. And we said, ah, so this is it. Because you see, when you love God, you are not looking for what to get from Him. You want to walk with Him. Is God helping us? So I think that's the number one thing we have to correct. I can tell you over 70% of our prayer requests here is tied to things we want, not the pursuit of God. Counseling that time was not, this guy doesn't love me. There is... Emeka, there is Gideon, there is Gabriel. Which one is the will of God? It was never, almost never part of counseling. Counseling was, I had an encounter yesterday. I need you to explain to me. Are we together? I searched a scripture. And while I was studying, the glory of God came upon me. Sir, what is the meaning of that? We look forward to night times. Because night times were officially the times of Holy Ghost baptism. So everybody will get people feel the Holy Spirit and will discuss it. But right now, you see a lot of people supposedly with a love for God. Listen to me very carefully. But that hunger 
that appetite for spiritual things is even those who we call men of God are looking for revelation because it looks like in our generation of the is revelation that will give you a seat let me tell you there is a dimension revelation stops it will take presence brothers and sisters ah. so we do not know the God we claim to represent we even fast and pray but our motives are corrupt we are fasting because you are saying kind i've been intimidated i saw a jimmy giving a word of knowledge abba if it's the kingdom it's also for me and then we go to fast are we together now and there is pride and arrogance people don't sit down to listen and learn the word again everybody is a man of god are we together everybody is a man of god we are only colleagues trying to grow together. That dangerous and devilish spirit, we must cast it out of the church in this city, around and as far as God's grace can take, and we cast it in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The foundation of your spiritual pursuit cannot be things. I see how many of us are obsessed with money. We want to do well. Every time you look at people, you see a Jimmy's tie and you are wondering how many thousand is this tie. When we were together, that time, nobody cared who your father was. We sat on the floor. It wasn't even in a carpet. On the floor. How you will know people were madly in love with God was, we had some of our ladies that we would call Ajebo ladies. You see those ladies rolling in the sand under the anointing with their hair and all their guy and they love God in the rain. You heard David sharing his testimony that sometimes in the rain it was not about noticing me but now you see Christians we say pray in tongues you pray for five minutes you are cleaning your mouth whether there's saliva honestly in my opinion you are not going far I can guarantee you is God helping us this is a series to challenge us God desires men and women who have paid the price to be his image carriers reflect us of his person but there is a key it does not start with looking for rema it starts with a hunger for a person i hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all i want is you when I started out in ministry, I didn't know they used to give honorarium. Listen, I never knew they used to give honorarium. Years ago, I was invited to a church not too far from Philip Seidu here. We were living in front there. It was raining heavily and I knew God's people needed to listen. I was so passionate. I prayed, I fasted, I prepared and the rain was heavy. And you know the way that place is, there was a pool of water. And I said, no, nothing will stop me from blessing people. It's a privilege to bless God's people. A derivative of my love for God, not pursuit of ministry. I came out in the rain. I was praying in tongues with joy and with my Bible. It was Steve Strings who saw me around the church. He came out with an umbrella to stop me. I was quite humiliated in that service, but I didn't care. It was a privilege. Are we together? We inconvenienced ourselves with joy. I remember one time when we were preparing for crusade. We needed a lot of money. Our hunger for God. A Jimmy then, he was the only one among us who had computer. Right? And he put it up for sale. Put it up for sale. Passion and hunger. But today, we see the results of people. We do not want their hunger, but we want their results. How foolish. Are we together? There are many ladies who come to church now and you, you may see people like Shade, all these ladies that have been with us, you just think, oh, they just love God. These ladies were trained like men. We didn't train anybody. It was not gender. If we prayed for five hours, whoever was there, child, boy, girl, will participate. That was how people were built. Is God speaking to us? Let me tell you why many of us have not been able to experience the glory of God in our lives. It's not just about 
getting rema, packaging 10,000, kneeling down to receive a quick impartation. You now run and go and tell your members, I just came from Zaria. <laughs> you can't imagine what I'm carrying. No. A hunger. Everybody say hunger. Shout it, hunger. A hunger for God that drives you to his presence. Our fasting was not for things. I'm telling you, it was truly to know him. Then we had our spots. When it was daytime, everybody had his corner. Those to the dam. Those on top of buildings. Are we together? I was telling Ejimi, one of our tiny ladies, she was very, very small. Very small. You see her around 2 o'clock with her rechargeable. Don Muen song. She put on her socks. Very tiny. It's as if the rechargeable was, 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 was a bag of rice. That's how she would hold it. And that lady would come out around 4. And don't forget that there was lecture in the morning. But people traveled. It was a sacrifice and a passionate love for God. But you get born again and you say, Lord, I'm born again. Where is the man? Man, man, man. You hear discussions of believers, love, relationship, uh, marriage, children. Hapa. As if God is irresponsible. Sisters, hear me. I'm challenging you. I'm telling you the quickest way to get a husband. Forget about it. And pursue God. Let every man come and meet you ardently in love with God. Let God be the one to give you to a man. You keep giving yourself and, and you see what happens. You let him give you. And for our brothers, listen, I've challenged us on establishment. I've challenged us in many things, but let me tell you, there is no establishment outside of an encounter with God. Because demons are real. You can build the house, you can buy the car, but you need an encounter. Are we together? Everybody shout, I need an encounter. This is the foundation. People had dreams. Not, I don't mean dreams of, I'm a champion. Dreams of, I am pressing into God. You would see people who would get born again. The lifespan of catching fire was one week. After seven days, I'll never forget. You remember a Jimmy, one gentleman who used to sleep on the bridge. Remember that man? That man got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. He was addicted. He would sit down inside chapel from morning till night. He was sleeping under the bridge in flyover. That's the kind of fire. If you were born again, your born again had to be genuine. There was a strict system you passed through. From being born again straight, there was a brief session and then filled with the Holy Ghost. You, you will pray, we will hear. If we don't verify, we'll do it again. You had to be praying in fluent tongues. And there was a system that engaged your spirit. Everybody around you was too serious for carnality to find expression. You talked about women, you'll be alone. Because everybody was searching the Bible. Our discussions. Was he Hades or Gehenna? That was our discussion. But you hear people who just got born again. I'm challenging us. This is the reason why several people may not find God. Ministry. Ask Ejimi how many people spoke to me about churches and branches. You remember, sir? Oh, man of God. PFN were willing to give us an auditorium, train pastors just to come and start a church. And I went back and God said, no, you will die. We were so obsessed with seasons. We denied ourselves certain doors, even though they were open, to wait for seasons. But right now, everybody wants glorification, wants lifting. Hmm? A lady of 25, under pressure, time is passing. 25. A brother of, of, of 27. In, in four months, you have asked 20 ladies out. What is wrong with you? Are we together? Look at pastors. Pastors, don't, don't, they don't press into God. You never see them having retreat. They are watching football. They are traveling. They are doing ministry. What ministry do you have outside of his presence? Are we together? Daytime was for study. Nighttime was for ministry. That's what we did. 
I know how people run away if they even call you pastor. Pastor, this. We, we, we run away from it. But some of us quarrel everybody. You are calling me what? What did I hear you call me? John, me? The day you try that thing again, I will curse you. God truly found our heart. We loved him with everything. Are we together? That time, the cooler ministry was not for relationship. The cooler ministry was to propagate encounters. Because we're tired, laboring there. Sometimes they would look and our sisters would carry cooler. It was not that they were looking for husband. It was their contribution. The ministry of Dorcas. Genuinely for fire. Please, Koinonia, hear me. I'm telling you the truth from the depth of my heart. When you find God, you find wealth. When you find God, you find relevance. When you find God, you find everything. Are we together? Yes. My first challenge for us as we attempt to build this series is return to the place where you seek God. Write this down. What is an encounter? An encounter is not necessarily a vision. An encounter is not necessarily a, a supernatural transportation to the realm of heaven. That's not what I'm talking about necessarily. An encounter, listen, is an experience you have with God that furnishes the reality of his person. The reality. An encounter is God making himself real to you. Revealing his presence to you. Whether in, a, in the secret place. Whether as you labor in the study of the word. Are we together? People who were non-Christians. When they got born again in two weeks. Because of the atmosphere of encounter. Their lives changed. That's why people like Mama came. And you see what God is doing with him. Today he has become a great and mighty man of God. Encounters. Are we together? Pregnant women had testimonies that while teaching was going on, their children would just keep quiet. No movement, no pushing. Until it was time for prayers. Let me tell us the truth. There is too much distraction. This is what stops the voice of God. This is what stops a lot of things. We are distracted. I'm not necessarily talking, of, when I talk of distraction, I'm not necessarily talking of maybe immorality like drunkenness necessarily. We are distracted looking for things around God and not himself. We are studying the seven rivers of power. Why not study him as a person? We pride ourselves at these things. So you find out that people mock themselves with messages. We come and preach messages we do not have the experience to defend. Is God speaking to us? Please, if you're a pastor here or you're in ministry, listen to me. Return to the place of encounter. That's your greatest publicity. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I will. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, and I will answer. to reveal his glory God desires listen 
he did not just save us to take us to heaven please i'd like you to pay attention to what i'm sharing with you god did not save us just so we can become christians his intention was to make us revelations of his glory write that word glory down the word glory is from the hebrew word kabod the greek is doxa and the expression of the word glory is the essence of a man whatever makes that man who he is his wealth his wisdom his intelligence is called his glory so god's desire the eternal counsel of god is that christ becomes a reflection of the glory of the father the church the ecclesia in partnership with the holy spirit now becomes the revelation of the glory of the christ christ has reflected the glory of the father in his death burial and resurrection his exaltation what is left right now is for the church to align so much with the spirit that we become perfect reflectors of the glory of christ another word for glory is the possibilities of a man a man's glory is the extent of his possibilities so god wants us to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities glory can never be appreciated until it is revealed until it is revealed until it is made manifest the word became flesh right the word locked up in the realm of the spirit became flesh and dwelt among men he says and we beheld his glory god desires for his glory to be seen he desires for his multifaceted dimension to find expression in every territory but that dimension the conduits the custodians of the glory of god are not things not handkerchiefs not goya oils human beings are we together god's predeterminate counsel is for every one of us under the sound of my voice to become perfect reflectors manifestors of a divine life a divine reality that transcends this realm the glory of god is a revelation of everything that makes god god so when miracles happen that's the glory of god finding expression are we together yeah when signs and wonders happen and some in isaiah 40 the bible says that god desires we were made for his glory that all flesh will see it but there is a pathway that brings the sons of light to glory this is what i am teaching us i really desire that our lives become limitless conduits communicators of all the dimensions that can be in christ so when men look at you you are half man and half something else because you are a communicator of a reality that is beyond this realm your life is supernatural in every way because you are functioning from a realm a possibility and a reality you are reflecting a man who is not limited only limited by our disalignment is god speaking to us john chapter 2 the wedding in cana let's look at verse 11 the bible stated something very important there is god blessing us already tonight's teaching is going to challenge us john 2 let's just look at verse 11. everyone please read one to read this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of Galilee, and did what stop hold on it says jesus used miracles as a conduit to manifest his glory when he performed these miracles it was a turning of water to wine are we together now the bible says in doing that because he aligned to the father so much to an extent that the father could find expression through him to do an impossible thing he said he manifested forth his glory as a result people his disciples believed him let me translate this to you as a result the convictions of men over god became stronger you know why our convictions are very small there are very few dispensers of the glory of god are we together 
there are very few people who are truly prototypes of the possibilities that can be in God. You see the wisdom of men like ordinary people. Their intelligence like ordinary people. What everybody is crying about is what you cry about. There is nothing supernatural about your life. You are not a dispenser of the glory. Your words are empty, as empty as any philosopher's words. No backing, no authority, no power, no government, no throne. Nothing backs you. This beginning of miracles, he said, did Jesus, just verse 11. And he said, he manifested his glory. And as a result, the disciples believed. They believed. The essence of the faith life is not just to go to heaven. The essence of the faith life is not just to capture us from sin to become heaven bound. God's ultimate desire that will never change is that he will find a people who can be an expression of all that Christ is. It is God's desire that his multifaceted possibilities, all the dimensions that make him God, he wants it to find expression here. His healing, his wealth, his miracles, the possibilities, everything. So Christ is our model. The same way Christ aligned to reflect the glory of the Father. Right? In John 17, don't turn there, we'll turn there later on. Jesus was speaking and he said, Father, he said, now glorify thy son. To the end that thy son will glorify you by reflecting your glory. In theology, we call it the reflection principle. Where you reflect the glory of your superior. And the one below you is the one who reflects your glory. You never reflect your glory. You reflect the glory of the one you submit to. So Jesus reflects the glory of the father. The church reflects the glory of the son. The systems reflect the glory of the church. This is the eternal counsel of God. But there is something wrong because our understanding does not permit God to go with us to that extent where he can reflect his glory to us. So there is little of healing, little of prosperity, little of alignment, little of result from prayer, little in a congregation of 5,000 people, you have two testimonies. It's a shame to the revelation of the glory of God. I know we clap about it and we thank God, but honestly, it is a shame. Are we together? Yeah. God's glory cries for expression. He wants everything that he is to find expression through our lives. But the question is, are you willing to let your life become a conduit of that glory? Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. When there was a storm, everybody waited for the arrival of Jesus because his arrival was a revelation of the kingdom. The kingdom had come. Right? When he stepped into a house, they knew there was a miracle. Who, what do we expect when you show up? Trouble? Blessings? If I shake your hand, Pastor Femi, come please. If Pastor Femi shakes my hand, should something not change in my life? But does it happen? You see the reason why they don't value your shake? Because it never produced any result. The last time you prayed for somebody, they begged you and said, pray for me. You prayed and nothing happened. You met them after a long time. You said, any result? You said, absolutely nothing. I don't know what you did to me, but from that prayer, my life just knows dive. There is no manifestation of the glory. There is an extent of glory by the grace of God that we have been able to manifest. And this is what is responsible for everyone coming to sit down. You are coming to behold a dimension of the glory. Are we together? When there are healings, there are miracles. When the word of God comes and it's power to transform, it is a revelation of glory. When a barren woman all of a sudden gets healed, is a revelation of a dimension of God. When you master the laws of kingdom wealth and in an economy that is nose diving, your life is rising up like the ark of Noah. Something is different about your life. 
That's the revelation of the glory of God. The idea is not just heaven. The idea is a flawless life based on our alignment to the Christ. Is God speaking to us? Jesus is the revelation of the Father's glory. And the church was designed to be the revelation of the glory of the Christ here on earth. The ecclesia, the church, the Catholic church, the universal church. We were designed by God to be the reflectors. In other words, anytime people need to see Jesus, they should look for a Christian. Did you know that our presence should stop the frustration in the earth? Because we are the representatives of the government of Christ. So in every territory, when there is any challenge, when somebody sees a Jimmy, they say, thank God. What dimension of the glory of God has been committed to him? They are sure that that dimension will be dispensed and there will be solutions. But we are largely part of the problem in the earth. And this is why our voices are not heard as the church of God. We are part of the many world's religions. Nothing supernatural about our lives. They shake you. Somebody sleeps on the same bed with you. Demons oppress him the way they have been oppressing him from his room before he came. There is no presence of the divine life. There is no presence of an atmosphere. Oh, come on. No, it should never happen that way. The Bible says there is this treasure. Where? Not in heaven. In earthen vessels. There is this treasure in earthen vessels. Careers of the divine life. Communicating something very deep and very spiritual. That is who you are. If you think you are just a Christian who is, should just be planted you know, to a church. Taking communion on Sunday. Praying during prayer meetings. You will short circuit your understanding and the revelation of Christ in you. Everyone say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, my life must reflect the glory, the power, the wisdom, the life, the possibilities of Christ Jesus. Yes. When people are stranded, the moment you show up, you bring a reality. Your speakings, right? It says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. It says, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So that when you come up and you begin to speak, I never expect to speak and you say, wow, that was an interesting contribution. No, because I'm speaking by the Spirit. Are we together? Yes. This is the foundation of true spiritual growth. The rewards of an encounter with Christ. The glory of God finds greater space in and through your life. You become a blessing. Everybody wants to be around you because that's what happened to Jesus Christ. They don't have to know you. Let me tell you one way you know the glory of God is on you. You become what the Bible calls delightsome. Have you heard that word delightsome? Delightsome does not mean beautiful and men are following you for marriage or, or you have money in your pocket and ladies want you to marry them into a life of peace. That's not what I'm talking about. That there is something on your life. It's magnetic. People come to sit down close to you and say, I don't know why. I've never shared this with anybody, but there is a challenge in my life. There is the glory of God. Dogs are a revelation of his person in you. This series is meant to, uh, to not just challenge you, but also activate something in your life. Are we together? Say, I'm a dispenser of the glory of God. Say one more time, I'm a dispenser of the glory of God. John 11 verse 40. Jesus said something remarkable. That was the story of the resurrection of Lazarus from the dead. John 11, let's look at verse 40. Please read it together. Everyone is projected for time's sake. One to read. Jesus said unto her, Sayeth I not unto thee, that if thou would believe, thou should what? If thou will believe. The key 
to experiencing the glory of God in your life is your conviction. Do you believe? Do you believe that you can see? Jesus said it himself. He said, if you can believe, nothing will stop you from seeing my glory. You can see my glory in prayer. You can see my glory in signs and wonders if you believe. The word believe is a very interesting word because it's not just the word agree. It's the word conviction. You can, it's not just an awareness like I agree with you, but I am persuaded about this reality. Pastor Femi is a pastor of Rema. I am persuaded. I'm not trying to agree. I, I know it is true. And nobody can convince me otherwise. That's what it means to believe. Faith now becomes the action you take based on that conviction. Are we together? Jesus himself said, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So if I believe, my body can become a superconductor of the anointing and the presence of God. And the same way, brothers and sisters, if I have tuberculosis and I come close to a Jimmy, what will happen to him? Please answer me, what will happen to him? We call them communicable diseases, right? Because they can be transferred. It's not whether he agrees with me or not. I am a carrier of that disease. He just needs to come to the atmosphere. And he's implicated. He gets tuberculosis. Are we together? That means I can carry divine health. And come close to him. I've not prayed for him. And make it communicable. I can carry divine wisdom. Are we together? And you come and greet me. We talk for five minutes. You live with a level of intelligence you cannot account for. I'm not just talking of praying for people. I'm talking of them being implicated by the atmosphere you have created. Your alignment has created an atmosphere that does not leave people the same. So someone does not even know he's sick. It is your atmosphere that shows him he's sick. When he comes, he leaves and says, my goodness. So this thing I've been carrying is pain. I thought everybody has it. Hi. Are we together? Years ago, one gentleman was helping me wash my clothes. He was so happy. He just soaked the clothes. As soon as he soaked the clothes, we lift it up. That's how the power of God just carried him. That was the end of that washing for a very long time. The Bible says handkerchiefs. Right? You believe that? Acts 19. Handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from the body of Peter handkerchiefs and aprons it's not this thing we do in church where we just call people out and wave handkerchief mm -mm, solve problems solve real life problems if you can wave it like that then speak over the person's financial crisis bring it to an end that's authority that's a sign that there is a government that backs you so someone comes and tells you 11 years we've been buried you say it doesn't matter they say why because triplets are coming are you getting the point Oh, you can be that confident. That's how to become a blessing to people. And so they say, please, how can we locate mama? Because they know that their own is just to find where you are. When they find you, even if you are passing. When prophet Samuel met Saul, he said, come inside and I will show you everything in your heart. That's a dispenser of a reality. When people are sick and they see you, do they get excited or do they just thank you for visiting and grieving with them? Are we together? Listen, we must rise from the realm of counseling to miracles, to results. Don't just counsel people. It's all right. We live in a generation where who doesn't know times are hard. To a point where when people see you, they said, you prayed for me, Jimmy. I don't know what you said. But from Monday till Sunday, I was receiving testimonies of financial breakthrough. As it was happening to me, it was happening to my mother. Please, I've come again. Men are implicated because of the atmosphere you carry. Please hear me. I'm not motivating you. 
These are realities that God wants you to walk in. This is how you become the light of the world. It's not just by talking and saying I'm a Christian. You know why our, our worth in Christ is very small as far as people interpret it? Because we pray so much, but our result is very little. Hallelujah. That's why we share testimonies. These testimonies are a revelation of what the glory of God has done in the lives of people. There are certain possibilities that is granted us access to and they have produced results in the lives of people. So you see incurable diseases going by another possibility. Say after me, all things are possible. Say it, all things are possible. But not for everyone. Yes, you must agree with this. All things are not possible for everyone. Your possibility is a measure of the glory of God that can find expression in you. Are we together? That is why encounter is so important. Because encounter is the spiritual activity that truly builds faith in you. Listen, faith comes by hearing. Do you hear what you read? Answer me please. Do you hear what you read? When I read the Bible, do I hear anything? That means beyond this reading, there is a reality that should find expression in my spirit. Mama, come and collect phone. Did you hear me? So it's not that you were rebellious. If I'm talking and you didn't hear me, will you just stand up and come? So many people say, I don't know if I had God or not. You didn't hear. Are we together? Because his voice is louder than the voice of every devil. And you can come and collect it. Mama, and give me this phone. You had it. This happens in the place of encounter. You don't roam around this noisy valley of this world and expect to hear God with clarity. Your landlord is making noise. Your village is making noise. Wickedness making noise. Carnality is making noise. You won't hear him that way, brothers and sisters. Are we together? I really am challenging us. Another thing that I think is responsible for people not paying attention to God is we have this idea that paying attention to God is a waste of time in terms of achieving our destiny. I don't know who deceived us with that understanding. That, please come. Two of us start out on a spiritual journey. Look at me, everyone. Two of us start out on a spiritual journey. Are we together? And then this guy keeps moving. Just move slowly. Right? And then I feel I am behind. Because that guy wants to start a church. He wants to marry. He wants to move forward. He wants to do this. And you are here with God. We call this delay. We call this waste of time. And sometimes we say, God, honestly, this you are always talking to me. I don't want you to waste my time. Let me tell you the thing with God. When he's done with you, you will not walk. That's the thing. No. The Bible says immediately Jesus entered the boat. They were at the other side. No process. Immediately. As soon as he entered the boat, they appeared there. That's the God of all flesh. So there are people who started their journey. They didn't wait to find out from God what are the rules of the engagement. They just got up. I must make it. My share in this life. What is my own is my own. And all these foolish things we keep talking. And... They have marked time somewhere in life with six children now. Whereas somebody who they were looking at as wasting time now is walking on the wings of the spirit. Moving as if Satan does not exist because he stayed to master the art of war before he started moving. It pays to stay with God. The fastest way to make impact is to stay with God. Not to look for endorsement. Not to print invitation cards and say, Jimmy, invite me. I'm a very intelligent entrepreneur. Invite me. Koinonia, give me the mic. Let me lead praise and worship once. And even you, you will know that Kai, God has children. No. We will never give you mic in Jesus' name. Because it means you are deficient in training. Listen, never be ashamed if others go and leave you. You are actually running. You don't know. Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and go. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. And then instead of him to run too, 
he waited and the bible says the hand of the lord came upon him he guarded his loins and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel do you want to stay with god and let him file you and you get up and move in power or do you want to join this rat race people are doing in life they take two steps and mark time there so there is a pile of people who started their journey but cannot move because they do not understand the art of the war. I make up my mind to wait. I make up my mind to wait. Are we together? So that by the time I start moving, I will move at a speed and at a pace that will grant me capacity to do much for the kingdom. Moses! Was about to move, but he said, Lord, do not send me. I know that the people need to get to the promised land, but I'm also aware that there are all kinds of obstacles. Lord, don't send me. I have questions to ask you. I like Moses. Moses asked God questions. The same thing Gideon did. Gideon said, you are sending me to go and defeat the Midianites. Oh Lord, you are king, but I'm a man. Let me ask you intelligent questions. Prove to me, oh. Look, stay in the secret place and ask God every question. What happens when my finances dry up as a man of God? God, give me the secret now. Not when it happens there. What happens when somebody is about to crash under the hands of the enemy and I cannot see it? And he shows you the mystery. When you take them like keys, you can tell the gate of destiny be opened. And the moment you start moving, you move like a general in the kingdom. When others stand, there is a strategy that you can find expression. We will wait upon the Lord. For in His presence, there's fullness of joy. And our strength shall be restored. As we wait upon the lord hallelujah listen i'll share with you just one key tonight the key i want to share with you i'll share with you many other keys when you want to grow spiritually and become a reflector the first key is death john 12 john 12 let's read 23 and 24 John 12. God is raising mighty and powerful people in this place. John 12. Now watch this. There is a relationship between death and glory. Please look at me. Never forget what I told you. There is a relationship in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of power. In the realm of impact. In the realm where men do business with God. There is a relationship between death and glory. Years ago a lady met me and shared with me a dream. And that dream was going to launch her into a season of dealings with God. And I knew it was not going to be an easy time for her. But I spoke with her, I told her grace for you. And the next two years or so of that lady's life would be times of in Intense pruning and testing and maturing. But after that time, God brought a vessel that was worthy of honor. The Bible says, Jesus, not an angel, answered them saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be what? So we're talking about glorification. The time has come for you people to know how powerful my Father is. The time has come. For all of you to see the multifaceted dimensions of the might of Yahweh. You've heard about him. Your father's told you. You are about to see it now. Next verse. But for this to happen. He said verily, verily I say unto you. This is the mystery that will make me glorified. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and faints and goes through coma and dies he said it abides alone unprofitable 
it says, but if he dies, it bringeth forth what? How do you produce much fruit in the kingdom? By your death. Hmm. Let me tell you, only dead men carry the glory. Only dead men carry the glory. What that means is you must come to a point where you die to your ambitions. You die to your aspirations. You die to your formulas. You die to the conditions you give God. Lord, I give you two weeks. If you don't bless me, you are not king of kings. Uh -uh. Two weeks will pass, you will not be blessed. You will say, okay, God, I give you one month. I've extended it for you. As if you are, you are giving God grace. And at the end of it, you say, Lord, you know what? Even if it's in 10 years, you don't bless me. I love you. You have died. You have died to those conditions you give God. Lord, I'm sweeping your church. You better be looking at me. Wipe my tears as I'm wiping the tears in your own house too. That is true. But if that is the reason why you are sweeping the church, you are wasting your time. Are we together? Death means losing Nothing around your life controls your passion for God. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not money, not lack of it. Not fame, not lack of it. Not ministry, not lack of it. You come to a point in your life where he is all in all. That's death. It doesn't mean physical death. But let me tell you, it can be painful. Because the process in the spirit with which a man relinquishes his will is very hard no man gives it to god just like that you can only give god permission to take it for you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are god alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne. You are God alone. Let me tell you something. There are many ways to know a spiritual man. Prayer and tongues and rema are the foundational ways to know a man of God or a man of the spirit. The chiefest way to know a man of the spirit is through his cars. The testament of his sacrifice. The testament of his handing over the management of his life to God. How he trusted God for certain things and they did not happen. And he still said, Lord, you are glorified. That's spirituality. Not preaching. Are we together? You frustrate Satan. You've heard me say this. There is no way I know in terms of its, its highest level of impact to frustrate Satan than to give God glory in the midst of your pain. Lord, you seem so far away A million miles on what it seems today And though I haven't lost my faith I must confess right now That it's hard for me to pray That's somebody's condition in this place listening to me. But I don't know what to say I don't know where to start But as you give the grace With all that's in my heart I will sing And I will praise Even in my darkest heart Through the sorrow and the pain from your heart regardless of what is around me I lift my hands to honor you one more time help me I will sing I will sing that's how spiritual men are made they defy circumstances their love for God is not tied to anything And I will pray. I, will I may pray. cry, but I will still pray. I lift my hands to honor you. Because your word is true. I will see. Hear me. 
you don't become a spiritual man when mike is given to you you become a spiritual man when you can look at someone you trusted god for their healing and they died and you say lord i'm standing in front of this grave and you are still god you challenge satan are we together you expected five points you went to the board and you saw four carryovers and you know you must try an extra session and you say lord i won't pretend i know i prayed but lord i want you to know that you have won my heart i'm too addicted this is too small a reason to come in between me and you and you are, you are promoted in the spirit because that is your death god is saying who is this that is calling on me he said gather unto me my saints psalm 50 verse 5 they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice let me show you how god brought us to where we are it was never a thing of hoping for results there was no other plan b i never had plan b with god if it doesn't go well with him let me just die there i like esther she said if i perish let me tell you many of us have plan b there's one leg in god but you are hooking the other leg in case god disappoints you if you do not bless me let the world laugh at me if koinonia does not grow let us remain a subject of mockery but it will never never ever see change this your anger and annoyance over god lord i trust you i've been serving in your house if i uh, 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 spiritual men never get angry with god there are men who have died when you come to a dead man watch this when you are removing the trouser of a dead man will he get up and say stop huh when you are removing the money in his pocket no that's how to die if god says son i need your phone you hand it over and say where is it all things a man can have nothing except it is given to him all this our greedy lifestyle is a sign that we are alive in ourselves that's why we never see the attention of god listen whether god keeps his anointing in heaven or in you he's comfortable because it's still the same thing to him you are that yielded it's like two stores of a man you know how people do business they can tell you i have a branch in kaduna i have a branch in lagos any one of them will give you the same result can god say i have this grace in heaven but i still have one on the earth go and meet that person you will get the same result as though you were praying to me because he's that aligned death one of the most painful but most powerful keys of carrying the glory you can jack yourself and claim i have the glory you will waste your time until a corn of wheat falls down and dies brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth and i lie not there is nothing god makes a demand of in my life that i cannot give him ask him you don't want to know the things god has demanded in my life anything you cannot give God is the reason why you will not host his glory at that level if God tells me give me koinonia I will pack it up like a cloth put it in a nylon bag and hand it over to God immediately not after a meeting immediately if he tells me this is the last time you should be preaching all the ministrations will be cancelled with an apology you know why many of us die we are the ones responsible for everything in our lives so we die he says come unto me all ye that are what weary and heavy laden and i will give you rest everybody say death say it there are many people's training in the body of christ we don't teach people the mystery of death and then they expect glory the bible talks of the sufferings of christ and the glory that should follow are we together yes romans chapter 8 please from verse 18 and 19 for i reckon that the what the constraint that's what we call it let me be a sacrifice 
What's the other part of that song? Just that part. My life to Just sing that part for me. That's the song in my spirit. That's the scripture here. Let this be a sacrifice. Let me dedicate my life to worship. Where you become a living sacrifice. It says, listen, hold on. For I reckon, I come to terms. There is no other way. You can choose your way. The prison is full of people who chose their own methods to life. Are we together? They chose to jump fence. They chose to point guns at people. That was their way. The Bible said there is a way that cement right. There is a way. It may be popular, but it's wrong. Let me tell you, the way of the throne is the cross. You will never get to the throne until you go through the cross. I know this is not an attractive message. Don't allow people to fool you. The cross is the way to the throne. There is something that happens to you at the cross that qualifies you for the throne. The way to the throne is when you face Goliath. He does something to you. Whenever you pray for a throne, Goliath is coming. Until you qualify, you will not sit on that throne. I speak to you a mystery that makes men carriers of power. When you speak, it's as if heaven owes you a debt they must pay not everyone listen the centurion said for i am a man under authority he said i say unto one go i say unto one come death not rema not greek word not logos not kairos not chronos uh -uh. none of those things will replace true fire the secret place where there is a testimony of death galatians 2 20 please he said, for I am crucified with Christ. That's the realm. You have died to your ambitions. You have died to your aspirations. Whether you call me Pastor Josh, Prophet Josh, Apostle Josh, whatever. No longer do you have that appetite to do anything that is outside of God. Your life revolves around His will. His wish is literally your command. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Then he says, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. Then he says, and this life that I live in the flesh that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not faith in the Son of God. The very faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Have you gotten to that point where you are dead to yourself? Look, you will not lay hands on the sick and say, be healed. I'm a Christian. Jesus died for me. Be healed. We keep mocking ourselves before demons. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. I see the scars in them. I see them pass through the cross. But he said, who are you? You just jump from nowhere and think because your father is a priest, a priest that looks like a herbalist, do you inherit that? No. Listen, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Everything is given, but not as gifts. There are some things that are given as rewards. Unto us a son is born, but unto us, unto us a child is born, but unto us a son is given. And the government will rest upon the shoulder of the son. A symbol of authority. Are we together? It says, an heir as long as he's a child, differeth not from a slave, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors. God is challenging us tonight. Right? Anointed to reveal his glory. In the course of the series, I'm going to be teaching you something powerful about the anointing. I tell you, your life will catch fire. It's time for us to step into greater levels. There is so much God wants to do with us. Give him space. Koinonia, give him space. God wants to find expression. Let me tell you something. When you get to a point where you can speak over a man's life and change his destiny, you are really powerful. You are really powerful. Where you can use words to veto the limitations in men's lives. Who is this? That the winds and the waves obey him. He didn't carry cane. Michael, where are you? 
this wind is stubborn he stood and said shalom shalom the centurion said uh -uh. i look at you and you are not representing yourself you are under authority you are a reflector of the glory of the father huh? i am also a man under authority i know how powerful my government is on the strength of that power i can tell one go and he will go when you tell things go and they don't go they are sending a message to you that you must admit if you tell sickness go and it does not go it is speaking back to you where is your authorization like passport you are traveling out you smuggled your way and this custom stop you somewhere are we together you put your clothes in a bag with with clothes and as you are smuggling yourself out they trap you what is the question they are going to ask you they are not going to ask you your name what is your passport your symbol of authorization what gives you access to move from one dimension to the other and if they cross check and find out that you are an illegal person what happens they deport you you are not even there yet but they send you back even if you cross over to another country one day when they catch you there what do they do they be, that's, there are many people being deported in this season because they never went there correctly they used some manipulations and they jumped and experienced power for two weeks that's why you think they are using charm it's not charm they didn't follow the right path so they must be sent back the thing that makes me fear god is that even if you are 20 years the day you decide to walk with him you will go back and start correctly god doesn't do double promotion you pass through every class one by one and write every exam in god's class 90 over 100 is not a everything he teaches is necessary for your future it's not like the way we are you can get here and go in god's class you you will clap for you for the ones you have passed but you will rewrite the exams till you pass there that's why 40 days became 40 years until they passed every course he was teaching them are we together we're going to pray tonight i'll stop here and we're going to pray god has been speaking to me about the things that he wants to do this is our year of multiplied um, grace and influence hallelujah god wants to reveal greater glory you already seen it happening in the testimonies and the rest but you see any true man of god does not want to rise alone are we together we must all rise together where our words become like the words of god the bible says the words of samuel was like the word of god when he spoke none of his word fell to the ground what a man what a man there are some of our family members right now we are the only reflectors of the glory of christ as far as they are concerned are we together we left many of our loved ones and some of them are practically on their way to perishing in every wise sickness finances spiritually but god tonight wants to anoint you and through this series he's going to be guiding you are we together so that he will anoint you i trust god that by miracle service this month some people would have entered some strange dimensions strange spiritual dimensions you can know something has entered your hand all this acting we keep acting do you know i'm anointed no you are not it should be very clear the anointing is like light there is light here if you ever have to ask one person do you know i'm anointed i'm telling you it's not there oh it should be very clear as clear as light is from darkness tonight we are going to pray but before we pray i want you to admit that you have limited the reflection of the glory in your life in many ways there are so many possibilities we should have entered as men of god as individuals are we together so it's very important close your eyes in one minute before we pray i see the presence of god strong already here i want you to just reflect in one minute on what i've said is my life giving god room to manifest his glory how have i brought shame and disappointment to the name of god because i have bragged being a christian 
have stood near sick people and nothing has happened i prayed in my family they have been mocking god they've been mocking koinonia i dared them but i prayed that nothing happened pray lord things must change my christian life has been barren for too long i need an encounter a true encounter i'm tired of faking it i need something solid Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in my life. more time shalom and then we we'll pray shalom shalom jehovah shalom shalom you're welcome in my life welcome the new dimensions in god glory of God find expression in your life somebody is going to die because of it a day will come you will meet a sick person and there is no Joshua Selman there is no koinonia a day will come you will be desiring certain dimensions of his power a day will come you'll be desiring certain dimensions I'm here to charge you as you begin to pray certain things will begin to shift in your life lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit just pray in tongues kabata shabalarabalaba Shabra kata barados, zebra kete le barapata. Reflectors of the glory, carriers of a reality. Shaba barata barada balada bagada, zebra kete barada balada ba, rekete braba bada bala ba. My life must be a conduit. My life must be a reflection of your possibilities. My life must be a reflection of your wisdom, your power, your wealth, your might, your intelligence. My life 
must be supernatural in every sense. Make sure you're praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I need power in my life. I'm tired of a natural life. I know there is a dimension of power, true spiritual power that can land upon my life and make the difference. Lift your voice and cry. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Cry for power. Scatter lato shake there are giants on every mountain. It takes power to move mountains. It takes power to move mountains. Spiritual power. Spiritual power. Spiritual power. The unction. The unction from the Almighty that makes you supernatural. The unction. Shabarata kata prega de bala bosh. Cry, Lord, a release of power, like the dew of heaven. I need power in my life. My life is too natural. My words are too natural. My business is too natural. My family is too natural. I cry for the supernatural dimension. Of my success, the supernatural dimension. I invoke the supernatural dimension of the equation of my life. Hallelujah. Was he praying? Listen, listen, guys, listen. The Bible says, Know ye not that your body, not just your spirit, your God has been mocked too many times. There's no power in our lives. No, no. You pray for the sick, nothing happens. You speak, your words are empty. We keep mocking ourselves. God is going to touch somebody here. Now, now, all those things, we, we fool ourselves. Listen, we are going to cry. There is spiritual power, authentic unction from the throne. It can land on a man's life. It can land on a lady's life. And the difference becomes clear. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference lift your voice and cry lord for power lord for power lord for power unction unction grace unction let my prayers command results unction let my words carry power carry change Send it, oh God, like the dew from heaven. Send it, oh God, upon my life. Pray. I'm tired of an ordinary life. I'm tired of an ordinary life. That supernatural dimension. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two 
more prayer points and then we are done. Be sensitive now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to fall on people. I believe that God is going to be activating things. It's a series. So we are still praying. But I want you to pray. Listen. Listen. We are going to pray. It's one thing to be gifted. But it's another thing for that gift to be anointed. It's one thing to be graced. Even your grace needs to be anointed. Brothers and sisters, we will mock ourselves if we keep on this path. I cannot live a life without power. A powerless life. Everything ordinary. Everything. Your words are ordinary. Everything happens in your life. There is no supply of intelligence beyond the intellect. It's a terrible life. We are going to pray now. Are we together? As you pray, I'm agreeing with you. The angels of God are going to be walking around and doing things in the lives of people. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, the dimension of power that must land upon my life, let it begin to land. Lift your voice and pray. Be sensitive as you pray. Mighty impartations will begin to happen as you pray. Shapatakata. Fire from heaven land upon our life unction from the throne oh receive it it's coming on you like fire like fire like fire pray 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 an unction spiritual power for results power for impact power Lord I'm tired tired of an ordinary Christian life I'm tired of just being a follower of a religion I am tired I need power from heaven in my life he said, Ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power. Ye shall receive power and unction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. When the power of the Holy Ghost is not upon your life, your Christian life will be frustrating. You will hardly get results. It will be a life of struggle. Struggle over everything. You will knock on doors for ages before it opens. But there is an unction. God never designed that we live ordinarily. He said there is this treasure. You are in every way spiritual. Father, thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit to heal, to deliver, to set free. There will be a separation. At the count of three, I want you to shout, to heal is the name in the spirit. And as you shout, please ushers, let's have those people right away. Are you ready now? One. Two. Three. Shake a pokoto, reketa lekepa, so poto koto, em proto koto, rekete, rekata, moko poso pai, se pekete teteta. Let there be a separation from this shout, Holy Ghost. Shake a teteta, em proto sekete. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. This shout of victory. Shout of victory. Shout of power. Shout of praise. Bring them out. 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 Bring 
It's already happening at the back. This road, this very road, the power of God is setting people free. This road, this road, go ahead and pray. Whatever has held you bound must let you go tonight. Must let you go tonight. We insist in the spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you came here with must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will visit your people. This is the pool of Bethesda tonight. The pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda. There is a stirring. I know when something has been stirred in the spirit. I know when there is a stirring. I tell you, there is a mighty stirring. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Yeah, 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 breast has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast i don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that hallelujah 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 there were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you, as you shout that name, we will invoke his presence. There will be a mighty deliverance, mighty deliverance everywhere, inside and outside. At the count of three, listen. Goodness. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name. Many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions. But as you shout that name, the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Habakate prosotai. Two, get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three, I command devils, come out, come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside. Outside. In the name of Jesus. Everyone under the influence. Of every power. That is not of God. I command those demons. Go. Go. 
Go! 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 I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Rekete ba 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 ba. I give the chains. I give the chains falling. Falling, I need the chain. Falling, break chains, break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains, break. It must leave you tonight. Break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Straight up. God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Hey! Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, wickedness is real. It has tied down many of us, even maritally, especially our families. Hallelujah. You're going to shout that name Jesus one more time. And as you shout that name, anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you or your family members, you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life. But tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay lift your hands goodness i see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now at the count of three with the clash of the symbol alone one two three Jesus. now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit powers powers of darkness spirit husband spirit wife i cause you I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse you. Bring them out. I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their marriages. Every spirit that you have been covenanted with that is stopping you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you it may not be directly on your life but your family members the sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry lift your hands my god i thank you for the fire of the holy ghost when i count three shout that name that power hey. must let you go hey. that power hey. must let you go hey. i come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of Jesus, hear my sound in the realm of the spirit. That at the count of three, let God's people go. One, two, 
free. Let them go. I command the release. Exodus. Exodus from this land of delay. Exodus. I prophesy. I decree. I declare. Establish it. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cups, but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people. It's still an aspect of deliverance. At the count of three, this will happen. Thank you, my God. One, two, three. Let the angels move right now. Let there be a movement, a stirring, a stirring. A stirring, a separation, a stirring by the power, the fire, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, break it, compose, bring them out. I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the, I hear the chains falling. There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I give the chain. Gabriel, I give the chains for it. I the chain. Bring this lady. Chains, bring chains. Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on our family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. It doesn't matter what happens. But right now, I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm. Go. Go right now. Go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. The same thing is happening to that lady. Let her go now. Let her go. One or shall lay your hands on her. Both of them, both of them. Go. Go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Break 
Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here, God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you to let God's people go. At the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go. Go, 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 Come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Change for me. I hear the chains falling. Come. Just leave her. She will come. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. How can a lady do this? Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Uh, you just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place. Today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest. Pain around the chest region. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there right now. Ulcer, peptic ulcer. Chains. Leave her, she will come right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something. Just leave you. When that happens to you, please run and come out here. A num you will literally feel something leaving you. When that happens, let's have those people here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one hand and lift one hand up. And let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just help me with a symbol. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Whatever is holding you, peptic ulcer, be healed. I command that spirit out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. That spirit, leave them now. Be healed. Be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You are a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. 
Hold my hands. It's okay. Bone grow in the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast out them. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you, please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just. No, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money. But it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord let it be. I stretch my hands. By the force of the Holy Ghost. Using him as a point of contact. In the name that is above all names. Let there be breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Victoria. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please if I call your name or your case. Just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria. There are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside here. Yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? You know why? Do you know why? No. That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Yes, Is that not so? Yes, you were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Now. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life. And he was he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he just sir. gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes, something must happen and he will leave. But tonight. We see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I curse we that spirit the in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Now, even now, even now pain, you are yes. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. Know, and you have sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014, I lay my hands upon you. To your marital destiny. Break, break. Come, my dear. When
surprise your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, she stand there. Look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a herbalist. Listen. They took you to a herbalist and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please. This person I've spoken about, please make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a herbalist. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? Is he the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait. Stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams. And he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now. And you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting. And ordinance. Right now. Be free. Everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings. But I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you. And he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. falling. 
you are not standing in for yourself but for your elder sister God wants to visit her lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you Lord I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Break on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for me. Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yes. You will be delivered. Yes. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the lord will correct it my brother the lord bless you you're born again you love jesus yes, just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life Father, by your mercy, in the name of Jesus, go! That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her! Now! Out of her! That devil of darkness. 
I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God and he's going to, you know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been. God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He, he has, has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible and the Lord says he will teach the word. Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight, I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding to understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. You love God, but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment, you will not join bad people. You want to be successful, but what God does not give you, you cannot get. Huh? Because there are bad people around your life. You are a good person, but there are all kinds of bad people, and we must pray. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. There's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where is the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka, bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come and come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen, I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, it's not car, is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration. Hallelujah. How many universities? Come, you are come. Are you not the one who brought him? How many universities? Same university. They've they've driven him twice. Twice. You think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice? UNN, right? Nsuka. Yes, sir. God will deliver him. Amen. Come, my brother. It's not it's not like you are lazy. Huh? It's not like you are lazy. Because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth. And you cannot even articulate. It's, like, it's as if you are manipulated. God is going to set you free. You believe this? Yes. Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now and you'll be free. Let him go. Now! Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. Restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten. In the name of Jesus Christ, restore to him. Restore to him. Let him rise up a brand new person. I worship you. Hallelujah. If there's any case of barrenness here, whether for yourself or for your loved ones, please come out here. If you're married and you're experiencing barrenness, let them stand in the front. If you're standing here for yourself, Please don't just be emotional. We are not joking here. This is very serious business. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something. And don't please don't find it offensive. Every case of barrenness is demonic. What did I say? Every. every I don't care what the doctors say. Whether they say there is a womb or no womb. The, the person... Who is having this situation may not be a bad person 
But I'm telling you, it must be resolved spiritually. Hallelujah. Please keep playing. You're tired. Play the strings. Ladies and gentlemen, see the number of people standing for loved ones. How many of you are standing in for yourself? For your sister, just look at me. Look at me. She's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. Don't worry. Just look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. You are feeling something coming up on you right now. Let her go. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant. I'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue. But when God steps in, you won't go back. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Before his presence came and changed me. Just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up. Madam, come let me pray for you. Look at me. How many years? And then he stopped. We are going to pray. Look at me. This is a family thing. Hold on. Because it's not only you. Who else? My genius sister. Your genius sister has the same thing. She has never had a child. That's to tell you this is a spirit. But as God sets you free, he will set her free too. Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na oria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi I open up your womb to receive okay, baby boy you will come back with the baby boy lift your hands and sing hallelujah please lift your hands I'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released. You are standing as a point of contact. My God, I pray that from my left to my right, in the name of Jesus, let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, wombs be open. Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for. I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications. Go. I cause fibroid. I cause every cyst. In the name of Jesus, all those who do not have wombs, we put brand new wombs now. Brand new wombs in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things, burning a lot of chaff. Every spirit of miscarriage, I curse it right now. I curse it right now. Right now right I curse it right now. now. The spirit of miscarriage. Every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb. I arrest you. You are bound. You remain bound. Hallelujah. I prophesy to every one of you here. Make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them. That in the name that is above all names they will not only take in 
they will give birth like the Hebrew women. We forbid CS in the name of Jesus. They will give birth normally. No devil will eat up any child. There will be no miscarriage. And for those who have stayed a long time, we command twins, we command triplets. Let there be a restoration. I provoke it by the hand of God. Please don't think we are just entertaining. Prophecy does not just reveal. It creates. It creates. It creates. I tell you, a lot of things are happening. Pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman. Mary said, be it unto me. We put miracle children in their wombs right now. From the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, if you came here specifically for healing, I want to minister to the sick right now. Specifically for healing, or you brought someone sick, now is your time, please. Quickly. Ushers, coordinate them so that they will line up very well. You came here with any infirmity, please. If you brought someone, now is the time to bring them out. The worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil. No matter how far you are, wherever you are, please find your way to the front. You came here for healing. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name. Please, I need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas. There are people who your own is not sickness. Your own is breakthrough. Please just line up. Those under the anointing, just leave them. There is a pool. Some of you, as you are standing here right now, the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister. Now we are going to do it very fast. Hallelujah. Listen. It doesn't matter what your sickness is. Right? The anointing is not just the ability to heal. It's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem. Are you getting my point? So while you are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I'm not going back the same. I'm tired. This is it. This is it. Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me. Pastor Williams, hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you've not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus.
What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not, I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where is the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We are going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Father, we change this lady's genotype right now. Baby, let SS change to AA right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus, there is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus, Hold on, please. Your son, too, is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You, too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Alright, let's save time. Healing me. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. Of her now, and God is out. Come out, a glory out of her now. God. Out of her now, that devil of darkness, God is be healed now. Out of her, a spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now. Say, be set God. free. Yeah. 
of you are Gabriel. The power of God is going to come on somebody, a lady outside. There is one lady, the power of God will come mightily upon her. Please bring her in. I need to speak to her. The power of God will come very mightily on one lady. Very, very mightily. I can't remember why I called you people, honestly. But let me pray for you. Where's your father? Is in this meeting. Where is he? I need to talk to him. You are the best. Eh? He's not around. I mean, he's here. You mean? He's in town. He's in town. He's not okay, I thought he was around. I need to talk to him. Go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered. Look at me. Look at me. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered. Father, confirm your word. I give you praise. Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um... I'm not going to ask you to come out, but I hope that they came out here. We want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases. I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases. Because if we do not help God's people, medically it's incurable. HIV, hepatitis, all these satanic things around make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be so please stand up everybody stand up please please rise up everybody We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it and in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed please connect with them even as we pray right now hallelujah father i pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy. Without your mercy, these people are on their way to death. But I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Anyone with HIV in this place, I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. HIV be healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place i cause it to its root in the name of jesus christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of jesus hallelujah for blood groups who are going to deal with that one when i minister prophetically Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families 
with uncompleted building projects please find your way quickly and just stand here the lord wants to minister just one word i will speak i want you to believe i'm not saying you want to build a house please the power of god is touching people and changing uncompleted projects uncompleted projects please believe what i'm saying i'm not just playing pranks here as you're standing here the lord is going to set people free okay if, if there's no space just stand where you are and then i'll pray for you lift your hands everybody it will surprise you the bible says how that the hand of god came lift your hands the hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran the Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel I want to pray we are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me specifically for building projects some of them are tied down because of finance some of them are tied down because of court issues some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir Ogasa, god is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like his money but it's not money this is witchcraft god is going to set you free are you getting what i'm saying lift your hands please my god i pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles i want you to believe many of you are going to feel literally like fire it will come on your right hand it will come on your right hand in a very powerful way all across here right now the angel of the lord will move right now right now father in the name of jesus move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of god is a prophetic language the right hand of god is power and by that power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of jesus be completed now in the name of jesus every power stopping any building project i challenge you right now in the name of jesus every lack of finance responsible i command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of jesus christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of god the finisher's anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finisher's anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in jesus name god bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the lord is ministering to me mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation god is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if you, if this is if you're part of these people i've mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now
no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as i pray the power of god will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody please stand up everybody Balayo, you're just going to clash the simba for me i'm going to pray because this is a very demonic thing the lord is ministering to me this is the deliverance of someone right now a snake or a, or a dog an animal beat you in the dream it didn't create any effect but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out jump out and go one two three go 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 out of them out of them some people in the congregation it will touch you there too out of them every foul spirit i'm going to lay my hands on everybody there. out of them 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 please help them Devil of darkness, out of them, out of them, come out, come out, everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh dear, oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go. Release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take off everything. Take your property. Pack your load on your back. Get set. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go. Out of her now. Devil of darkness out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out, I break covenants. I break yours. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood and I set you free. Now.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality, and we come and preach in church. We say stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now. Once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 See, bro, you should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. This is our own usher. Go. Go. I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady. The Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing it has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting. This child is not good. You think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around? Brothers and sisters, there are influences and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance that's why you see people who keep testifying oh breakthrough just started happening in my family you may not know what has been limiting them that's why here we don't just heal the sick I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems any kind of problem it's not just healing it's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down. And they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is. And then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. Hallelujah. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god lives this will be the very last time hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues 
Bishop, come, please, Pastor Williams, come as we pray on the request. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Sempre toko shoto balakapa. Visit your people. Mam brekete tete bakata ba 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 ba. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She break the balarararaba. Oh ne. She get get ba 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 ba. Oh rakata balaraba. Please stretch your hands. Connect oh, with us. All those online. Oh, they should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Oh ne. Oh ne. Oh ne. Oh dear oh ne. Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came you came from another place. What I mean, minister, make sure you're a preacher, minister of the gospel, you're a ministry, and you came from outside of this state. Please come out. I want to minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Is there anyone like that? Please quickly, quickly, let's save time. Just come and line up here. The Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air has no nothing to do with that hallelujah ministry with integrity with the fear of the lord that who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret 
the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant I want to pray for you that God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned please stand up everybody this is the moment I want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah wherever you can hear my voice make sure that you shout a big amen please lift your hands the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper this is not the doing of any man what you see is an election of grace when God calls people he empowers them there are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story hallelujah and I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life this is the part you get to receive lift your hands hallelujah can you play the keyboard mic please please lift your hands I want you to shout amen with everything that you have lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted up Oh ye everlasting door, every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus, we shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces, into pieces. I command gates, gates, gates. Hear ye the word of the Lord, gates. I command Ephata. Be open, be open, be open, be open. Gates of marriages, gates of restoration, be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here, in the name that is above all names, I command miracle jobs now. Miracle jobs now. Miracle jobs. Now, I provoke your destiny. Help us. May they find you. May they help you. May they honor you. For every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances, in the name that is above every other name, I command breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. Breakthrough in your academics. Breakthrough. Every result that is not your own, we change it tonight. We change it tonight. Let the angel of God go to every faculty, every department. We command change. Any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever planned evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment 
whoever said your family will not lift up their heads may my God judge them may my God judge them hallelujah every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwritings we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration I prophesy I decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the symbol and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire 
Take it now. Take it now. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Prayer fire. Regete tete e prokotoba man prakata e koske e pandapa. Regete tete. Regete tete e prokotoba. I found the fire on your prayer altar. It comes back alive. I pray for you right now. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness, and that oil sets you above your fellows. The anointing for distinguishing. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Everywhere you go, be set apart. Be distinguished. Take it now. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says, Esther went to a man called Haggai, the one who took care of the virgins of the king. And he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year. And she passed the king once and he found favor. I want to pray for you. That anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Shaka Baba Baba. Sekete. Mam Protoskopa. Shotekete. Tekete Baba Baba Baba. Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying and say lord what was i born for why did you bring me here what was i born to do i want to pray for you lift your hands it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written no confusion a purposeless man will never find fulfillment i want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my God let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life Receive the blueprint of your life. Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now i judge the spirits behind it i judge the spirits behind it and i command them to let you go be free be free be free be free from every habit be free hallelujah for those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again it's not like you're not serious you don't even know what has happened to you 
there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your word life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only down knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for jesus you go to church you have a christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored as i count one to five those three categories of people whether you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying lord i want to be serious with you from today or you are saying lord i'm surrendering everything as i count one to five please i like you to run like your life depends on it god is waiting for you right here one please don't wait for anybody two inside and outside it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we, we praise you. you. We praise your name. We praise your name. want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart Lord Jesus I repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying I repent of my sins and I love you with all my heart forgive me today I make Jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation 
I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the Lord now look at me every one of you I congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and I want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow Bishop Stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the Holy Spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m. prompt please 5 p.m. prompt for now I like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they will have your information will pray for you and will follow you up God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now god bless you please find your way quickly quickly koinonia celebrate them this is not your best there are people who came all the way from joss all the way from abuja different parts thank you so much god bless you hallelujah god bless you this is koinonia the ministry put together by eternity network international hallelujah thank you so much for coming we appreciate and we celebrate you we meet every friday this is not our venue our venue is cgc we had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there so we'll be there from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.